Hi, this is Chuck Drake. I appreciate your help with this, Ron and Murray. Um, this is just the end of my one credit self study, <clears throat> uh, doing some material, part of the material in ET 201, and then also exploring counters with LabVIEW in the, in the lab. Let's see, next slide, please. Um, what I'm attempting to do is determine counts for something like a sine wave. That's where the word obviously goes up and down, and we want to be able to sample and then determine each time we get a new uh, rise in the sine wave. I use the rising edge technique, so when samples are taken like this, there needs to be a little bit of logic used. For instance, if we see a rising slope, that would mean count, but then if the next, in, next uh, reading also was a rising slope, we don't want to count that. So we want to make sure there's some negative slopes, such as between these two points and these two points. Then when we get to these two points here, we see a positive slope, we count. The next one is positive, we don't count, we don't count, we don't count, and so on until we get a positive slope.